Advanced formatting features in MS Word. Hello everyone, I am Sanjay, and today I will try to teach you using this video. In last year, we have learned about features such as word art, clip art, fonts, symbols, etc. These help us to create presentable Word documents. Let us now learn more about MS Word and its other features, such as how to change line spacing, how to set page border, how to print a document from MS Word and many more. I will cover the whole chapter in multiple part of video. This is the part one of this chapter. So, without any further delay, let's start. Our first topic is line spacing. What is line spacing? The space between two adjacent lines of paragraph is known as line spacing. On the right hand side, we have three line of texts. Line 1, line 2, and line 3. Look at the space between line 1 and line 2, and also between line 2 and line 3. The space between those lines are changing. That means, we can say, that the line spacing is changing on that paragraph. Now let's talk about different line spacing options in MS Word. In MS Word we have many different options for line spacing. But, we use only few of them. On the right hand side, we have three paragraph of lines. The first paragraph have line spacing of one point, which is smallest of all three. That's why, the adjacent lines are very close to each other as compared to other two. The second paragraph have line spacing of 1.5 point. This one looks good and the spacing made us easy to read the paragraph. If you want to read the paragraph, what is written there, you can, but it is not mandatory. Now, the last paragraph have line spacing of 2 point. Looks like this setting made the spacing more than it requires. But, there will be some situation where, we might need to use line spacing more than two or three. We should always create a document in such a way that, it should look beautiful on paper, and it should be easy to read. That means, no one should get uncomfortable while reading your document, maybe because of your formatting and design of the document. Now, let's see how can you change line spacing in MS Word. First, click anywhere on the paragraph, where you want to change the line spacing. Click on the Home tab in MS Word window. Go to the Paragraph group and click on Line and Paragraph Spacing option. As the drop-down list appears, click on the option to choose the necessary line spacing. Look at the video carefully, what I am doing. What? You can't see that. Let's make it bigger. Okay, now. First I had the line selected, and then I went to line and paragraph option. From the drop-down list, I checked various line spacing options. Then choose the one, which I thought, was suitable for that paragraph. So, next time, when you make a document. Make sure, you will use the perfect line spacing setting for your need. We learned what is line spacing. Our second topic is paragraph spacing. Just like line spacing, the space between two adjacent paragraph is known as paragraph spacing. Or you can say, the vertical space before and after a paragraph is known as the paragraph spacing. MS Word has options for different paragraph spacing settings. Like, space before paragraph. And space after paragraph. Look at the example document. The first space between paragraph. There is no space before paragraph for the second paragraph. Only, space after paragraph for the first paragraph is there. Now, look at the second space. You can clearly see, that the space is bigger here. Because, the second paragraph has a setting for, space after paragraph as well as the third paragraph has a setting for space before paragraph. We can change these settings, as per our requirements. 
Now, let's learn the steps, how you can change the paragraph spacing. First, click anywhere on the paragraph where you want to change the paragraph spacing. Then, click on the Home tab in MS Word window. Go to the Paragraph group and click on Line and Paragraph Spacing option. As the drop-down list appears, click on the option to choose the necessary paragraph spacing. That would be the last two options. Let's take a look at the video. The steps are very similar as they are in line spacing. Look at the rectangles when I remove or add paragraph spacing before and after paragraph. For a better view of document, you should always use paragraph spacing, especially for long paragraphs. Third topic of the chapter is indents. Indents are used in a paragraph to set the starting or ending points of the line on the page. Indents are of four types. Left indent, which sets the starting point of a paragraph. Right indent, which sets the finishing point of a paragraph. First line indent, which sets the starting point of the first line of a paragraph. Hanging indent, which sets the starting point of all lines, except first line of a paragraph. How can you set or change the left indent? Take a look at the video, what I am doing. How I am changing the left indent of the paragraph. You can use your creative ideas to set make a creative document while playing with indents. Now, how can you set or change the right indent? You can change the size of all lines together with the help of indents. The first line indent. It affects only the first line of a paragraph. In Indian style of documents, we mostly use the first line indent while writing a paragraph. And the last one, hanging indent. It affects the starting point of all lines except the first line of a paragraph. When you use image and text together, you can use all these indents and make your document more attractive to the reader. You can also set and increase or decrease the indents from paragraph dialog box or from home tab also. And now the fourth and last topic of today is page margin. What are page margins? The blank white space on all sides of the page after the text has been placed is called the page margin. We have four sides of a page and that means we have four types of page margins. Left margin indicates the empty space on left side of the page. Top margin indicates the empty space on top side of the page. Right margin indicates the empty space on right side of the page. And the last one is bottom margin, which indicates the empty space on bottom side of the page. You can set the page margins from margin option from the layout or page layout tab in Microsoft Word. So, Today we learn about some advanced formatting features in MS Word. What is line spacing and how we change the line spacing? Paragraph spacing. Different types of indents available in MS Word. And about the page margins. This is the end of part one. Look for part two for more topics. Bye for now. See you on second part of video.